Hi, I'm Michael. I'm a rising senior at Monta Vista High School, and this is my first milestone for the phone-controlled robotic arm. For this milestone, I've assembled a robotic arm that responds to user input from the serial monitor, which allows it, which allows each individual motor, motor on, of, of the user's choice to move to any angle that they want. I accomplished this by connecting each servo motor to the breadboard and to the Arduino, which allows current to be delivered to the motors and for them to be moved in precise angles. In my code, I take two values from the user and the first one, the first value determines which servo motor uh, the user wishes to turn. And the second value specifies the angle at which the user wants the motor to be turned at. And I'll demonstrate this right here. Uh, right, first I'll move the motor that I'm pointing to at the back. And then I'll, uh, I'll type into the serial monitor to move this one. And then I'll move the motors on the claw to have it move in and move out. And lastly, I'll move the swivel on the bottom. And one problem I faced when uh, completing this first milestone was that the Arduino program would just simply stop running. It would fail after a little bit of time. And uh, the motors more specific more specifically the motors would stop turning and after some debug uh, the motors would stop turning and my computer would start making no noises that would signify an error uh, and after some debugging i found that my inputs were not even being received by the serial monitor uh, which told me that the program was uh, the program was terminating it was just stopping it stopped running and after doing some research and consulting my instructors, I found out that this wasn't an issue with my code or, or my wiring or setup. It was the power supply. And I s resolved this by connecting a 9-volt battery to the Arduino in order to supply a little bit more power because my computer was not supplying enough for the all four servos to run. Thank you for listening.